Okay, everyone, we're back. And this is the Velosa radar from Codwell. I got this a couple weeks ago and I think it's a pretty slick unit. Right now, everybody's all, everybody is talking about the new Garmin unit and the new um, lab radar unit. And I decided to go this route. Both the Garmin unit and the lab radar have hundreds of hours people are already putting on it for video and demo and all of that. So right now we're only gonna be talking about this. So right off the bat, um, Oddwell says that the Velosa radar is able to track your bullet all the way out to 100 yards and gives different feet per seconds and at, at different yardages. Unlike the Doppler radar, which is more of like a beam, Codwell says that with the Chirp radar, it's superior because you get multiple readings, multiple distances. And obviously over the old optical sets that we used to use from a long time ago, there's a huge benefit over, over that. So I can't see a reason why this wouldn't be any better than than the optical for sure and then as far as the other two units being the doppler say what you want on it you can get all the same information from the doppler radar that you can on here it's just going to require a lot more work on your end so let's open it up here when you open it up you get the manual obviously you get the Velosa radar you get a small box here that has a couple items inside it. First item here is a data cable. Second item is a recoil trigger. Let's get these off to the side. This can come out of the box. get the recoil trigger and all this does is gets attached onto the unit via this plug-in here and then you simply velcro this around your barrel so that's the trigger unit data cable is for charging I'm not sure yet I haven't looked into whether or not this is used on your laptop or computer for any type of other programming then it comes with this pretty slick little tripod very firm as far as construction goes it has this ball head on the top which is fairly stout it's got an extra quarter 20 um, both sides and then it's got a cold shoe adapter so there's a lot of purposes that you can use this for I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get into them but first off that's pretty much it and seems to be something that's gonna work just fine uh, it's just another tripod definitely better than these ones I've had these let's get this off the side this type of tripod has just been an absolute nightmare for me. They're always free, they're always cheap. I haven't really ever found one that I really like. You start looking at the actual unit, you kick it on. What we see is we have the opening screen, obviously. And then you have your new string, your load data, and your settings. And so let's just start off in settings because that seems to be the easiest one. You get to pick in your first item here, your trigger or your acoustic, your um, recoil trigger or your acoustic. So you select that and you can change between recoil and acoustic. I've used both. I prefer recoil just seems to kind of be more redundant and then has auto ready enabled disabled that's really the only thing you can do there you have your units and then you have your info and factory reset and it's it's that simple it's really just that simple so now let's back out here and let's go to load strings. These are old strings that I've already shot. That one, load. This is a 308. 
it's a 124 grain you can see it up here and this was a 300 blackout and I'll show you in the in the um, app how that looks then you can start a new string and the new string you just click on start it up and it just starts going so you can enter in the data for it where is it at right here you come down you enter in your weight your caliber it'll tell you your G1 all that right there see how you can change it up down all that all right so that's it this thing's simple stupid easy really stupid easy so we're gonna move on to the next portion of that which is gonna be the app we're gonna start right here so you've got your account info I'm not gonna open that up because it's gonna have all my stuff in there that I don't want everybody to see your version your permissions that you're allowing in and out of this this unit Bluetooth and location I have those granted it's gonna have your units now these are all adjustable out on the field. It'll also pull this data from uh, whatever unit that it's connected to as far as that, that can pull this data and then link it in. It's got contact us, tutorials, all about the unit, privacy information, FCC statement. So pretty, pretty straightforward. So then you're gonna go to Armory. And the Armory you have firearms and projectiles and in this list you'll see that I've already done some examples here we're gonna go into projectiles first you're gonna go to the plus sign and then in here you can add any projectile you want let's just say it's a Barnes TTSX and then you're gonna go to weight and you're gonna say 168 then you're going to come down to bullet diameter and you're going to go 0 0.308 and then you're going to come in here and you're going to say hand loads let's just say 128 grain I don't know 100 I mean 45 grain let's just use 45 grain as an example that's not the load Um, let's use CFE223 and you can go through and do whatever you want here it, 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 it it's just a area for you to be able to go back and log all of your information which has been great from Codwell so you'll see that it just showed up down here this is one that I did the other day as an example Here's the parts. Now, if you want to edit this, it's simple. You just touch it again, go in, edit, add into your notes. You can go to notes, options, edit, notes, and then you can edit it. All right, so after that, you go to your firearms and you can come up here and you can add a rifle, pistol, bow, or air rifle. I'm, I've never shot an air rifle that needed any of this, but it is, it is what it is. Let's just say rifle. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna use, um, let's go with TC Encore. We're gonna come down here and go 16 inch barrel. One in 10 twist. You guys get the example? Super easy, save it. All right, so that just showed up here at the Encore, TC Encore at the top of the page and you can click on it, there it is. So not only can you break down your ammo and all the notes for the actual ammo you're using, but you can also break it down by rifle. Then you can go into your strings. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this seller and bellet ammo here. This is a 
300 blackout that I was shooting, which I have video footage of, and I'll provide that right after this. It's gonna show all my shots for that particular time. It's gonna give me a breakdown on average feet per second. Um, that would be back here. Gives you your average. When you look at your actual shots, it'll break down your individual shots, your G1 and your G7 for that particular bullet and that speed. And it's nice because then you can come in here and you can put notes in here. Pulled my shot, le high left. You know, you can, if you know you're dead on, don't put anything. But if you want to know, you want to cater, you want to record where you're shooting, you can. You can also input your environmentals if it's not logged in and being automatically linked. You can update your firearm from here. You can update your projectile if you made a mistake. You have full notes section in here for the shooting session. And then at the end you have your dope chart. And the dope chart goes out to 500 yards. I haven't seen anywhere in here to where you can actually correct this to an actual footage. And I'd say that that's the biggest downfall to what I see in this app is I would prefer, I would prefer to be able to see this in this dope chart in more of like a dialed indexed or yardage, and then it'll give you your drop rate or drops. The really nice thing about this is it really shows you what's going on and with this particular ammo there's no BC there's no G1 G7 none of that's in there so all they give you is an average rate for speed on that box and an average drop with this you're able to look at bulk ammo that you're purchasing let's say for the 300 blackout or a 223 and out of that box you can shoot 10 or 15 of them and then you can get a really accurate idea of what those are and then you can move on to any ballistics app that you have and you can input that data and move forward and that's huge for me especially with cheaper ammos that my son's shooting and I want to get him on target and be on target all the time and make him feel more confident with his shooting that cheaper ammo doesn't provide all the information and thus you have to do a little bit more guesswork all right, so that's just about it. It allows you to hook onto more devices and I'm waiting to see whether or not there's anything else that can come out as far as the devices go. I'm hoping that at some point this will connect to the Applied Ballistics Quantum. I'm gonna be comparing a six millimeter Creedmoor to a carbon fiber six millimeter Creedmoor. And then I've got a couple other barrels that are on their way as well. We will be getting through those um, as soon as possible. Those are all gonna be for the SIG Cross. So thanks a lot and I appreciate your time.